So today we will see another concept in computer graphics that is the beam penetration technique in random scan. So now let's see what is this beam penetration technique. So the topic that I'm going to cover in this video is what exactly the color CRT monitor. So why I'm discussing about the color CRT monitor because the basic technique of uh, CRT itself is a beam penetration method. So that's why first we'll discuss about what exactly the color CR, uh, CRT monitor and the techniques that are used for the CRTs. Uh, that is a cathode ray tube. CRT means cathode ray tube. And what is a beam penetration method? And what are the features of the beam penetration method? Advantages and disadvantages, right? Now, let's see what exactly the color CRT monitor. CRT means cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube. Okay. So, the color CRT monitor displays images using a combination of phosphorus which uh, emits different colored light so what this color crt monitor display is using so it displays what images by using a combination of phosphorus which emits different colored light from the combination of emitted range of light colors can be produced from different phosphorus so that's where different colors can be appeared on the crt, uh, CRT screen so there are two basic techniques for making the color display with the CRT. So by using the cathode ray tube, we can display a color, dis uh, color, color display on the screen by using two techniques. One is a beam penetration method and another is a shadow mask method. So before pro uh, proceeding with the beam penetration method, let's have a, a basic idea of shadow mask method. What exactly the shadow mask method? It is commonly used technique which uses a raster scan system. So the shadow mask technique uses a raster scan system. It produces much wider range of colors when compared to beam penetration. So when comparing to the beam penetration, obviously this shadow mask is going to produce a wide range of colors. Okay, whereas beam penetration is having only the limited colors, the three colors it is going to be produced, but whereas the shadow mask will produce a wide range of colors. In this pixel, uh, in this the pixel is made up of three colors. So here in the shadow mask, uh, mask method, uh, whatever the pixel is there, that pixel is made up of three colors. Due to these three colors, it uses three electron guns. So for uh, because of the three colors, it is going to use three electron guns. It requires three electron guns for producing each color. So each gun is producing one electron. Each gun is producing one electron. A phosphor dot emits a red color light. The second emits green light and the third emits blue light. Okay. So the, the combination of these lights that are emitted on the phosphorus screen. So which gives a color display. Like this, the CRT has three electron guns, one for each color point and a shadow mask grid just behind the phosphor coated screen. So this is about the shadow mask method. Okay, so the one point that you have to remember that shadow mask is consisting of three electronic guns. Each electron gun is generating, uh, emits a light, red color, green color and the blue color. So the combination of these colors variations are different. Uh, a color is going to be displayed on the screen. Okay. So now let's talk about the beam penetration method. So this is our main technique. So we are discussing about the beam penetration method. It is similar to the normal CRT. The beam penetration is similar to the normal cathode ray tube. I think you already know about the cathode ray tube. So uh, a screen uh, which has coated with a phosphorus coated screen will be there. So because of the electron guns that are emitting the uh, Electrodes, so that will be uh, scattered on the phosphorus screen and the light, uh, because of that light, uh, an image is produced. So it is similar to the normal CRT and it uses one electron gun. So whereas in the shadow mask, shadow mask is using three electron guns. Shadow mask use three electron guns. But whereas beam penetration uses only one electron gun. It displays color image by using the random scan monitor. So whereas beam shadow mask uh, displays the color by using the raster scan display. Okay, raster scan display. But whereas the beam penetration uses, uh, it displays the color images by using the technique random scan monitors. 
This beam penetration uses two layers of phosphorus, red and green, which is coated on the inside of the CRT. So, whatever the CRT phosphorus screen is there, okay. So, inside the CRT, uh, here, it is coated with red and green. It is coated with red and green colors. The color depends on how far the electron beam penetra uh, penetrates phosphorus layers. These two combination of two colors produces four colors. So, here the red and green are the two colors which are coated inside the CRT screen. So, these two combinations, the red and green of two colors produces four colors. Four color red, green, orange and yellow. Because the combination of that colors will give a different color, right? A beam of electron can travel either slow or a fast. It can travel based on the speed. It can travel slow or fast. Suppose if the beam of electron uh, slowly passes, then only the outer la red layer exists. If it is slow, the electron that is passing slowly, only the outer red layer will be excited, exits. Okay. Suppose if the beam is very fast electron, so very fast electrons are passing through the red layer, through the red layer and inner green layer exits. So, suppose an interbeam speed show two additional colors, orange and yellow. The combination of red and green lights has to be emitted. So, because of the speed of the electrons, the screen color at any point is controlled by beam acceleration voltage. We call it as a beam acceleration voltage because of this beam acceleration voltage the speed of the electrons are going to hit the screen uh, at a, any point on the screen and generates a color uh, displays an image so this is about the beam penetration method the beam penetration random scan has been an inexpensive way so this is not that much of expensive when compared to the shadow mask so, it is inexpensive way, generate colors in monitors, but only four colors are possible. But here the only four colors are possible, okay, red, green, yellow and the blue. So, the four colors are possible, only those four colors. But whereas in uh, uh, shadow mask, it displays more colors. The combination of that four gives more colors, but here it only produces uh, red, green, orange and yellow. So, not blue, red, green, orange and yellow. Red, green, orange and yellow. So, but only these four colors are possible and the picture quality is not good as, uh, as good compared with other metals. So, see here. So, here the inside whatever I said red phosphorus coating is there. Okay. And here the green phosphorus coating is there. So, the light based on the light uh, electron speed. So, that is the fast or the slow based on that. It's, suppose the beam is going slowly. What happened? The outer red layer exists. This outer red layer is going to be exist. Okay. Suppose if the beam is very fast through the red layer and the inner green layer will also be exist. So, it passes, when it is pa passing fastly, the inner green layer will also be exist. So, coming to the features of the beam penetration. The beam penetration produces four colors because the speed of the electron gun. Because of the speed of this electron gun, the different colors are going to be generated. So, red, green, yellow and orange. Here only one electron gun is used whereas in the shadow mass the, we are using the four electron guns but here uh, only one uh, sorry three electron guns but here we are using only one electron gun. And this beam penetration provides high resolution and it is cheaper when compared to the shadow mask method. And beam penetration used in the random scan system to display the colors. Whereas in the shadow mask, it uses the raster scan but beam penetrations uses the random scan system technique for displaying the colors on the monitor, right? Now let's see the advantages and disadvantages of using this uh, beam penetration. The advantages are it is inexpensive. If you want to develop any beam penetration technique method uh, for displaying the colors, so it's an in inexpensive way to implement this. But there are some disadvantages on using this. That is, it produces only the four colors. What colors? The red, green, yellow and the orange. The four colors it is producing. The quality of the picture is not as good as with when compared to the other methods. Okay.
so these are about the advantages and disadvantages of using the beam penetration method so based on the your requirement you can choose uh, any type of the technique or the shadow mask you can go or is a beam penetration method you can go okay so that's it so still if you are facing any doubts please let me know thank you